Good evening, everybody. I wanted to bring you this story real quick, um, show you what's going on in uh, the state of Arizona. They're trying to pass a law that's unconstitutional to um, give an actual foot footage that you're supposed to be away from a police officer. Now, this, I believe, that you are supposed to be eight, they're, they're looking to make it that you have to be eight foot from that police officer. So when that police officer walks up to you, you have to back up eight feet or you can be arrested. Um, that's the way they're going to just keep backing you up and backing you up because you have to stay eight foot away from a police officer while filming or you will go to jail. Um, Tempe Against Police Violence and Direct D um, was there. Um, watch this footage. It will amaze you and app appall you. Check out this video. Feet. That's how far away you'd have to be from police to record them if a new bill at the legislature becomes law. And some now calling the bill unconstitutional. Tonight we have team coverage on how this bill could impact you and how some plan to fight back. We begin with our Mark Phillips. Citizen use of cell phone cameras to record police conduct is commonplace. Recently, a video of Phoenix police officers confronting four men during a stolen car investigation surfaced when one of the officers struck a 13-year-old girl after she failed to comply with police requests to move back. This bill doesn't stop anybody from getting a good picture. During the incident with police, officers asked the group who had moved in to record the events to back away. My bill balances the need to protect police officers from danger and to preserve evidence from being destroyed or discarded with the recognized constitutional right of people to film police officers performing their duties. Kavanaugh has made changes to the bill, reducing the distance someone can record police from 15 to 8 feet and allowing a person to video record their own police encounter. But the ACLU says even with the changes, the law is still unconstitutional. It is still uh, an unconstitutional limitation on the uh, very clearly established First Amendment right of uh, members of the public to record police. The bill goes before the Senate Rules Committee Monday. If it thinks it's constitutional, the full Senate will decide it later in the week. On its journey through the legislature, only Republicans have voted for this bill. Only Mark Republicans. 15, Arizona. The bill's sponsor says his intent is to prevent police from being distracted at crime scenes, but so-called cop watchers say it violates their First Amendment rights. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius talks to two of them, who say the law won't change what they do. They're just creating a law right now just to control us because they don't like what we're doing. Chris Ruff has millions of views on his Direct D YouTube page and Darian Barrett's from Tempe Against Police Violence. Mine's rolling too, you're live streaming. Some may find their actions annoying and disrespectful. I'm going right here, I'm going next to the police cars. If you refuse to listen to us, you're going to go to jail. But the cop watchers say that their actions, using their cell phones to videotape police out on the streets and even to argue with officers, are protected by the First Amendment's freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and freedom to protest. It's my constitutional right to film the police. I'm going to film them regardless because we don't need another incident like George Floyd that's not caught on camera. In 2016, there was no video when a Tempe police lieutenant fatally shot Dalvin Hollins. That was Darian's best friend, and that's why he's a cop watcher today. He doubts an eight-foot rule would fix anything. Do you get right up in officer's face? Do you get this close to them while they're trying to do their work? No, they come up that close. I, I stay where I'm at, and they come that close. Why are, you, why are you guys pushing back the camera? Their video show officers adding police tape to keep cop watchers way further back. Mm, don't touch me, dude. Hey, no. Occasionally pushing them, even arresting Chris. Cop watchers say they're undaunted to make policing transparent and accountable. Now they have to do things by the book because we're, they're filming them. 
Not only do we know it, but we're putting it online for tens of thousands of people to pick apart their actions. Now they're putting the legislature and the governor on notice. If the recording prohibitions become law. I intend to get arrested for it and challenge it on purpose. Chris says he's willing to take it all the way to the Supreme Court. In Phoenix, I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. In full transparency, EW Scripps, which owns ABC 15, has signed on to the National Press Photographers Association letter brought to the legislature legislature in opposition to this bill. Our concern, along with that of many broadcasters, is that it violates the First Amendment under Ninth Circuit precedent and would restrict legitimate news coverage of policing. That's absolutely correct. So uh, this is how they're trying to fight against us cop watchers here in Arizona. Um, if this goes through the legislature, um, folks, Cop watchers across the country, you can bet that it, it's going to start snowballing to all the cities and states. So uh, let's keep an eye on this, guys, and see what happens. Um, I thought I would bring this to you real quick. It, it just went up on the news today. Spitting Cobra, bringing it to you real. I'm out.